Julio Sr. But I have too much respect for him, one. And two, he can still kick the shit out of me, so I'm not going to. It's an honor, though, to, to go from, from seeing one of the greatest fighters in the history of boxing, the greatest fighters of all time, stand up here, to have the opportunity to introduce one of the greatest fighters of his time, and Sergio Maravilla Martinez. Um, I'm, I'm very proud to be Sergio's promoter. And that's not just because I know what a great fighter he is, and he is the best middleweight in the world, and on September 15th, he will prove it. He will prove it against what I think will wind up being the toughest test of his career, because that's how much I think Junior has improved. And that's also, I, I know how big he is, and that worries me. I look, look over at this guy, he's bigger than I am. But, um, <laughs> but I'm, I'm more proud of Sergio for the kind of person he is outside of the ring. Um, he's made a name for himself worldwide for his interest in, in a couple of very serious causes. One, the fight against domestic violence. Um, he has been a leading proponent of, of, of standing against violence against women everywhere on this planet. He's gone into women's shelters in Spain, in Argentina, in Mexico, and all over the United States. And gone to safe houses where he's the only person allowed in with no press with him to speak to and encourage women and to stand up for themselves and not allow themselves to be beaten. And also his efforts to combat bullying, which is a huge problem not only in America, but worldwide. Um, he's quite a person. And he's had a different background, a different upbringing than, 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 than Junior. You know, Junior was the son of a great, great father, the son of a millionaire. Um, nothing wrong with being raised rich if you're lucky enough to be able to live that life. But Sergio Martinez was raised poor, in the poorest ghettos of Argentina, having to fight his way out of, of terrible poverty. Um, to become a fighter and, and, and to be able to take care of himself and his, and his family. Um, I'm proud to be his promoter. He wants his green belt back. On September 15th, he's going to prove why he is considered one of the great pound-for-pound -pound champions in boxing and why he is the best middleweight on the planet. It's my honor to introduce Sergio Maravilla Martinez. Champion Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., our partner 
the head of Zen for promotions, Fernando Beltran. Spanish first. Quisiera decir en español que se la han pasado llorando diciendo que dejaron el título, que se les, les quitaron el título, que, que quieren lo que es de ellos. El título lo dejaron ellos vacante porque no, porque no quisieron pelear por, porque la mandatoria no se les aceptaba ni creen que ellos son un rival. Es que quede claro que el título lo dejaron vacante. Julio peleó por el título con un campeón interino que le tocaba, le tocaba el pelear con él y ese campeón interino ya tenía tres defensas un peleador invicto que se llama Svig. Entonces el mérito que no se lo quiten a Chávez. Y si no habíamos peleado con él es porque no vendía. Ahora ya está interesante la pelea. Yo creo que la pelea, la pelea nunca, se, nunca se le tuvo miedo, nunca... Yo no sé de qué plumas hablan. Porque si son plumas son de gallo, de ninguna gallina. Entonces la verdad me siento muy orgulloso de representar a Chávez. Nunca le he dado la vuelta a nadie, no le he tenido miedo absolutamente a nadie. Ha enfrentado todos los retos. No se vale que, que lo quieran descalificar y que quieran que, que decirle que tiene, tiene algún, algún tipo de miedo. Ya estamos aquí, ya, el 15 de septiembre. Ahí nos vemos. Well, I would like to say first that they didn't took anything from Martinez. Martinez gave away his title because they didn't took the mandatory that he was an interim champion speak and we fought against the speak because he and the speak made three title defenses of his title of his interim championship and he decided to fight an our an our fighter and we respect that but uh, but i think that uh, they've been talking so much about that uh, someone took away his title and we didn't fight before with him because chavez was making his career with fighters in sale and uh, and now this fight i think it's an interesting fight it's a great fight now he proved also that he's the best middleweight. He proved that he's the best middleweight. Let's see who it is on September 15th. But, as the, but uh, Ch if Chavez got feathers, like he says, it's because he's a rooster, not a chicken. So honestly, on September 15th, let's see who, who the real champion is. And uh, they, you can take also a picture of him. Because on September 15th, he's going to look different. So, Thank you very much, and I would like to introduce the best middleweight in the world, the real champion, the WBC 160-pound champion, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. First of all, we're going to to everybody. everybody. hablando muchas cosas que no son ciertas si hay alguien protegido aquí por el CMB es él porque él es amigo, él sale en un programa con, en Fox con Suleiman y con Mauricio yo nunca he tenido relación con el CMB él hizo ese negocio con el CMB porque quería pelear en un futuro conmigo porque quería dinero, nadie quiere pelear con él yo soy el único que le di la oportunidad bueno, well, uh, uh, there's been a lot of uh, I'm true, I'm lies about, about what happened with the title. Uh, he gave the title and he, he's got a great relationship with the WBC. He's the one who's been protected by the WBC. I have not been protected by the WBC. I've been fighting the best ones. And, uh, and he wanted to, to make money. That's why he's here. buen peleador y creo que de lo mejor que ha habido en este tiempo en peso medio. En talking, uh, speaking of him as a fighter, he's one of the best fighters. I think he's one of the best fighters in lately in the middleweight division. He's a good, good, very good fighter. Creo que va a ser una gran pelea. Va a ser una gran pelea porque creo que estoy listo. Estoy listo para esta pelea. Me voy a preparar bien duro. Eh, y el día 15 de septiembre van a saber quién soy y lo que voy a hacer como peleador. Me voy a consolidar como un gran campeón. De eso pueden estar seguros. I think it's gonna be a sensational fight, great fight. But on September 15th, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be made as a fighter. You will see what type of fighter I am. You will know what type of fighter I am. On September 15th, you will know who Cesar Chavez Carrasco is. 
Bueno, muchas gracias a todos por venir, gracias a todos por el apoyo que brindan a la pelea eh, y también decirle a toda la gente, eh, agradecerle por el apoyo que me han brindado en mi carrera el 15 de septiembre, no se pierdan la pelea, eh, va a ser una gran pelea y que quede bien claro yo voy a ganar el día 15 de septiembre, de eso no tengan dudas y le voy a demostrar a Martínez quién soy como peleador creo que se va a tener que entregar sus palabras y ahora yo le pregunto a él, ¿a dónde se va a ir cuando pierda por todo lo que ha hablado? Gracias. Seats are almost 18,000, and I'm sure we're going to fill it up. So thank you all for coming today. Uh, this is a great fight. We're all, as you can see, extremely excited in both camps. And now we're going to pose the fighters, and then they'll be available for one-on-one -on -one interviews. So thank you very much.